Breaking news right now from Providence. The pinpoint news tracker taking you to Harris Avenue. Police have just confirmed for us that one person has been killed and another wounded in a shooting outside the Monet Lounge around 2.30 this morning. I seen the motherfucker pull it out, too. I came away, he went pow, pow. It's fucking crazy. The police, they don't see my client, Mr. Barrow's holding any gun. They don't see any transfer of a gun. It's not innocent to prove it guilty. It's guilty to prove it innocent. My name is Kim Marie Mulroy. I'm Terrell Barrows' mother. It's been me and Terrell his whole life, just me and Terrell. Um, so when this happened, it destroyed me. When I was pregnant for him, I was diagnosed with cancer when I was four months pregnant. I always told him that he was God's gift to me, you know? And um, this is not what his life's gonna be. confesses on the scene to police that he is the shooter, that he says, it's me, it's all me, it's, it's all mine. And he is caught with the gun by the police. They catch Stephen Biden red-handed, he's holding the gun. We were given a lot of information um, in terms of DNA that was put in very scientific terms. I do remember it being quite difficult to understand whose DNA was in fact found and whose wasn't. Um, I don't believe that a clear picture was really given to the jury in that regard. The physical evidence that was presented by the state in his conviction indicated that the shooter fired the gun from either near contact to 18 inches away. And yet the state provided a witness who said that he saw Terrell Barrows shoot from 10 to 15 feet away, which is contradictory. I had to go to a bail hearing, and so I guess the state calls this guy, which is Gregory Zorabi, and I find out from my lawyer. My lawyer goes points to me, he's like, is this the kid that you see shoot the gun? He says, no. Six days before my trial, 11 months later, my lawyer tells me at trial, the valet do Gregory's Zorbini and changed his statement. He said that he seen me shoot the gun. They gave him immunity saying that they're not going to charge him with perjury for the lie he told in September, 10 days after the shooting. But what he's going to testify at trial is the truth. The witness who saw Terrell Barrows 15 feet away was in fact providing evidence that he couldn't be the shooter. There was also a second person that was shot who identified Baden, who was the actual shooter, it seems, uh, as being very close to the person who succumbed to the gunshot injury. He told me, like, yo, I, I did it. Like, I even went and tried to tell the police that I did it. They were just hell-bent on, no, it was Terrell, it was Terrell. And 
I don't know how true it was if he did tell the police that he did do it, but I know he did tell me, like, yo, listen, I did that. It wasn't Terrell. It's time to give Terrell justice and free him. We know Steve and Baden was caught holding the gun. Baden immediately confessed to the police on the scene that it was him. Elements of gunshot residue were found on his clothing. Multiple witnesses stated he was the only one close enough to where ballistic evidence could confirm where the shots were from. Baden confessed to multiple people over the years. We have a prosecution that presented misleading DNA evidence at trial and refused to consider all the evidence which pointed to Baden and not Terrell. The trial right from day two, I want to say, I realized what they were about to do to my kid. I had to sit there and listen to them degrade him as a human, not knowing that he's probably the most sensitive kid in the world because when his hamster died, he, he cried, you know, his fish died, he cried. So what they portrayed my son to be is absolutely not who he is. He's a great friend, um, someone who I could look at and say, like, I could always count on him, you know what I mean? He was very loyal, very laid back. Never turned into someone different. He always stayed true to himself. He's always just, when I think of him, I literally think of just loyal. Like, that's the first word that always comes to my head. He, he's definitely, like, a good person. Like, overall, got a great heart. He was raised right. His mom raised him right. Has manners. He's not ignorant at all. He knows how to carry himself. You know, very family-oriented, very supportive. You know, even now when I talk to him, he's still the same person I he was when he grew up. If he loves you or he stands for something, like he stands for it. Like he does not play any games like that, <laughs> like about it, you know? So he's really loyal. Um, he had a lot of morals, integrity. He's not one of them friends when you're younger, your parents would be like, hey, you can't hang with that kid. Like, nah, he's always invited to my house, whether I'm not there or not. You know what I'm saying? He's a good person, a very, very good person. I have um, two boys and a daughter, and my son is 13. Um, I have three sons, in the neighborhood, like somebody that they could look up to. Never once was he someone that I would be like, don't watch. He, he's, he was a good role model for them. He took everything out of storage, brought it here, and put it in his bedroom. I would not ever buy a, get an apartment with a one bedroom. I always felt like I needed two bedroom, two bedroom, because my son's coming home. You know? Asking my emotions, I won't let it show. Yeah, remain loyal to the end. Chasing dreams, I mean, the objective is to win. I done lost so many niggas in the graven in the system. So I'm always screaming free them, RIP them, cause I miss them. Got my nigga in the cell, free my nigga Ruger out. The situation fucked up, right? That appeal, I wish you well. And it's crazy, cause there wasn't a way a nigga could help you. They screaming allegations, questioning me wasn't helpful. But I love you, my brother, but we rode out for each other. And I'm sorry that you in that gym, it's painful on my mother. But I think about you every day and night. And it's easier to say, but hold your head, you'll be all right. We was left, we should have never went out to the club that night. Free my nigga, all them statements got my bigger brother life. I'm Terrell's mother, and I know my son is innocent. Our uncle Terrell Barrows is innocent. I know that Terrell Barrows is innocent. Terrell Barrows was 110%. Terrell Barrows is innocent. Barrows is innocent. Barrows is innocent. Is innocent. 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 Innocent.